we're going to make a special dish that we have on the menu that it doesn't have any other place in New York or any place that I know of that's making it. It's called shakshuka. I'm going to repeat the ingredients. First of all, we're going to put some onions, fresh onions. We're going to put some garlic. After we put some garlic, we're going to put green peppers and red peppers. After that, we're going to put some jalapenos in order to be spicy. Then we could, we're going to put the tomato sauce and, and whole tomatoes. And of course, our special house blend of spices that only the Chumas spice knows. Now we're going to demonstrate. What we're doing is putting some oil into the pan. Now we take in the onions and the garlic. We're waiting for the onion to get the golden color. And after that we're going to put the garlic. We're going to add green pepper and the red pepper as well. You should know that the green pepper and the red pepper giving it such a great flavor. Now we add in some jalapenos. Now we put in the tomato paste. And of course our own touch into the shakshuka. This is a mixture of spices that we made especially here for the shakshuka. After two hours of slow cooking that will be the result. This is a result of a shakshuka too, okay? After the, the, the shakshuka sauce is ready, what we're doing, what we were doing is putting two eggs on the top and now we're waiting for five minutes for it to be ready. Now as you can see from the inside the eggs are liquid from the outside it looks very done, well done. Now what we just did is put in some zata sauce. Now when do we know if it's ready? When it's covered on the white texture on the top, then you know the sugar is ready.